Hey, what's happening, everyone? These are the best downloader codes for your device, whether you're on Android or Fire Stick. Install just one app and instantly unlock endless movies, your favorite shows, live TV, pay-per-view events, and so much more than Netflix. All 100% free. In this video, I'll guide you step-by-step -step on how to get it all set up. This app isn't in the Amazon store. It opens up a hidden app library full of powerful apps that most people don't even know exist. I'll also share my personal go-to apps that I use every day. Sounds good? Let's dive right in. First off, if you're thinking about grabbing a new Fire Stick or a Google TV streamer, be sure to check out the links in the description below. I've tracked down some fantastic deals just for you. To get started, head to your home screen and find the magnifying glass icon. Press down, then hit the center button on your remote. A keyboard will appear, so type in Downloader. You'll see it show up in the suggestions list. Scroll down, highlight it, and click the middle button. This will take you to the distinctive orange app we're looking for. Hit the center button, and you will be taken to the app's page. Press the center button one last time, and the download will begin. It might take a moment, so a little patience is all you need. Depending on your internet connection, it could be incredibly quick. As soon as it shows Launch Now, press the Home button on your remote. Next, we need to go into your Amazon Fire Stick settings to adjust a critical option. The easiest route is to scroll all the way to the right on your main screen. A menu will then appear at the bottom. Scroll down. We're looking for My Fire TV. Maybe yours says My Device? Regardless of the name or its location, that's the one we need to select. After you click, my screen might look a little different, since I already have developer options enabled. If you don't see this on your screen, no need to worry. Just go up and click About. Then, with your Fire Stick or Fire TV highlighted, click the center button. Nine times, a message will then appear that says, Congratulations, you are now a developer. Once you see that, hit the back button, and poof! Developer Options will now be right there in the menu. Now, let's go into Developer Options together. The first item is a DB Debugging. Click the center button once to activate it. A small box might appear. Just scroll down and click Allow. Next, select Install Unknown Apps. You'll see Downloader on the list. Just scroll down to Downloader, then click the center button once to enable it. If you happen to have an older Fire Stick, simply toggle on apps from unknown sources. With everything configured, press the home button on your remote. You're doing a fantastic job. Now it's time to locate that new downloader app. The simplest way to view all your applications is to scroll almost to the very end and click the icon with three squares and a plus sign. This will display every app you have. The newest ones always show up at the very bottom. Let's open Downloader together. A small box might pop up. Just hit the center button to dismiss it. This app lets you access virtually any website. To do this, click the center button twice. A keyboard will appear, allowing you to enter the web address. I'm taking you to a special app store created exclusively for my viewers and subscribers. I put a lot of work into finding the best and most recent apps for this platform. All I ask for this effort for keeping the apps updated, making this video, and answering your questions is for you to hit that subscribe button. It's your way of saying thank you and a huge thanks to all my current followers. You're truly the best. Now that you're part of the community, go ahead and enter this code. Once you've correctly entered the code, highlight and click Go. If you get a connection error or a check link message, it means your connection is being blocked. Just turn on your VPN or change its location, and that should fix the issue. You'll see a small red circle on my screen. You might also see a box. If this box appears, just move the red circle onto that black box and click the center button. Otherwise, the platform will load on its own. Let's wait for it to finish. The web page has now loaded. This platform is amazing you'll get access to over 300 exclusive apps. My top apps are always tagged with a top apps badge. The first thing you should do here is press the menu button on your remote, the one with three horizontal lines. 
A menu will pop up. Scroll down and select Add Current Page to Favorites. Then click Save. Now you'll never have to type that code again. You can simply open Downloader, click on the Favorites on the left side menu, and then click on this platform. After that, press the menu button again and scroll down to Full Screen Mode. Click to confirm. Now you have a super user-friendly interface. Scroll down. It is truly, truly important to have a VPN. If you don't, your IP address will be visible right here. It's exposed. If you scroll further, you'll find Search and Filters. Here, you can select any category, and only apps from that category will show up. This makes finding apps a breeze. Each app also has its own description. I'll show you how to install my top recommended apps. Now, scroll down. The first app I want you to get is IP Vanish, marked with a top app badge number one. It's my top choice for keeping everyone secure and private while using these applications. With IP Vanish, you stay secure and bypass those restrictions your internet company puts on you. To download IP Vanish VPN, just move your cursor to it and click the center button. You'll go to a new page with the description and download button. To ensure you always get the latest version, I prefer to press the home button to return to the Fire Stick's main screen. Then find the magnifying glass icon and scroll down. Now click the search bar, and when the keyboard shows up, type IP Vanish. You'll likely see it in suggestions. Scroll down, highlight it, and click the center button. On this page, select the app from the list. You'll then be brought to this screen, and in this menu, click the center button to begin the installation. Give it a minute or two. Once it's installed, click the center button to launch it. Now you can log in. Don't have an account yet? I'll make it simple for you to get one so you can browse without a single worry and unlock all those fantastic apps. First, grab your phone or computer and open your internet browser. Go to the website on your screen now. You can also point your camera at the QR code in the corner to go straight there. I'll also include the website link in the description and comments below. Once on the IP Vanish website, pick your plan. You can even choose just one month to try it and see the difference. Seriously, folks, you should absolutely get a package. It's so important. After you get it, they'll send an email with your username and password. Once you have that, your Fire Stick will be safe and secure. Now log into the IP Vanish app and click Connect. I also want to show you a couple of settings. Click the gear icon in the IP Vanish app. A menu will appear. I've highlighted Connect on Android Startup. If I click the center button and turn this on, you won't have to manually switch your VPN on every single time you power up. The VPN connects automatically, so your movie viewing will be uninterrupted. It handles everything for you. How smart is that? Okay, now that we're secure, let's get some awesome apps. Press the home button and head back to your app list. Click the icon with the three boxes and the plus sign and open the downloader app again. Let's re-enter full screen mode by clicking the menu button and selecting full screen. If you're still on the VPN page, just hit the return button once or twice to get back to all the apps. Now, I'll show you the next four essential apps for free movies, TV shows, sports, and live TV. You'll find four more apps below the categories, each with a top apps badge and a star. It helps to read their descriptions carefully to know exactly what each app does. Here's the first one. An app with top app badge number two for live TV, pay-per-view, adult content, and by far my favorite and most recommended app. Move your cursor to it, then click the center button. You'll go to a page with its description. Scroll down and click Download. It will begin, and we'll wait for it to reach 100%. This might take a moment. If your remote goes missing, the Fire TV app on your phone works as a fantastic backup. Afterward, you'll be on this screen. Scroll over and click Install. Give it a moment. Once it's done, scroll over and click Done. Clicking Done brings us back to the screen. Scroll over, click Delete, and again, scroll over and click Delete. This takes us back to the store. First, re-enter full screen mode. 
press the menu button and select full screen mode. Then press the return button once or twice and you'll be back on the download page. Let's keep going. Now, here's another app with top app badge number three for all your sports content. Move the cursor to it, then click the center button. You'll get to this page with a description. Scroll down and click download. The download will start. Did you know that the Fire TV Stick 4K Max isn't just for streaming? It can also be used for cloud gaming with Xbox Game Pass. What a multi-talented little device. Then you'll be brought here. Scroll over and click Install. Once it's finished, scroll over and click Done. And again, scroll over, click Delete. And again, scroll over and click Delete. This brings us back to the store. Once more, enter full screen mode, then press the return button once or twice. And we're back. Now check this out. Here's another app with that top apps badge number four for all your on-demand content. Move the cursor to it, then click the center button. You'll arrive at this page. Scroll down and click download. The download starts. And by the way, did you know that the Fire Stick's operating system called Fire OS is built on Google's Android? So even though they're different, they're kind of like long lost cousins. Then you'll be here. Scroll over and click Install. Once it's complete, scroll and click Done. Now scroll and click Delete. And again, scroll and click Delete. We're back in the store. Enter full screen mode, then press the return button once or twice and you'll be back on this screen. Now some apps in my store require a separate player to function correctly. The app you just installed for movies and TV shows is one of those. Its title even mentions needing this other player app. It might seem a bit confusing right now, but when you read its description or use the apps, it will make perfect sense. I promise. So, let's download that necessary app player now. You'll find an app that is the needed player with the top apps badge number 5. Move your cursor to it, then click the center button. You'll go to this page. Scroll down and click download. The process will begin. This might take a moment. One final wait. If you want, tell me in the comments what you like to do while downloads are happening. I'd love to know. Then you'll be here. Last time folks, scroll over and click install. Give it a moment. Once it's done, scroll over and click done. Now click delete. And again, scroll over and click delete. Folks, it's that easy. We've installed four incredible apps. There are over 300 available on this platform. So don't feel limited to just these examples. My favorite apps are clearly marked with the top apps badge. Explore the store and download as many apps as you wish. They are all free, so grab every single one if your device has the space. But always, always remember to keep your VPN active. Some apps might be blocked otherwise. Now that you've downloaded everything you want, click the home button. I want to find all those apps we just installed. As you recall from earlier, just click the icon with three squares and a plus sign. This shows all your apps and the newest ones are at the very bottom. So highlight one of those new apps, then click the three line button on your remote. A menu will pop up. Click move to front. You'll see the app move from the bottom to the top. Hit the home button here. From your home screen where you always start, you'll have easy access to those apps. You won't have to go searching at all. How convenient is that? Now everyone, we've successfully downloaded some truly amazing apps for free movies, TV shows, sports, live TV, and pay-per-view. Before you open any of those apps, I strongly, strongly advise that you switch your VPN on first. Please promise me you will. Folks, I want to express my genuine gratitude to all my followers. Your support means the world to me and helps me so much. I can't thank you enough for taking the time to help me achieve my goals. I look forward to your comments and seeing you very soon in the next video.